Did you know that capybaras can weigh up to 90 kilos or 200 pounds, so as much as a grown person? What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a capybara. And we have one here, it's like a major, like a big guinea pig. And we have five X planes downstream of it, so the flow is going from left to right. And we can see that the wake is very blobby. So even though the very first X plane, actually already can see the first X plane, it's pretty much just one major blob with like two leg wakes but once you go down to the second x plane it already has died out to become just like a very circular uh, wake and not until you get to the final x plane does the flow become very chaotic so it takes quite a long time for it to break down and that is because it is a bl big bluff body the first four x planes are pretty much all within this just effectively a recirculation steady um wake so th the wake is very big and we've seen other simulations as well and now we have a Y plane going through the middle of the capybara and it's colored in the uh, velocity magnitude. So we can only see the wake really. And this is where you can see what I was telling you before, where the wake is just so big. Look at how many capybaras downstream it goes until it starts to break down. It's like five or six capybara widths downstream. And in this pocket, there's just a lot of recirculation um, happening. And there's a few little pockets of higher velocity, but most of it's very low. And then you start to get a breakdown afterwards. But interestingly, there isn't a very discernible von Kamm street. You can see there is a periodic unsteadiness to it, but there is a lot of um, smaller scale stuff that's breaking up that macroscopic um, shedding going on. And now we have that same plane, but now colored in the vorticity. And the reason I wanted to see this is because now we can see the von Kamm street or any other uh, small scale structure things happening. So, and as I mentioned, the von Kamm street is not very well um, discernible. And that's because of these smaller scale structures you can see everywhere just breaking it up. So there's quite a lot of shedding. And the fact that this is a three-dimensional object also means that there is some three-dimensionalness to the flow. And that is also making the von Kalman Street not as um, prominent as what it might be in a two-dimensional object. And now we have two Z planes, one right at the feet and then one right at the head. I wanted to see these two extremes to see how far out the wake goes and even with the feet you can see that the wakes are massive like look how much they fan out after the feet even though the feet aren't that big so these are very draggy in fact uh, capybaras are very good swimmers but they obviously swim in a different configuration to this orientation here in this orientation they are very draggy and also its head so the top z plane is not actually going through most of the capybara it's going only really through the top of the head and yet there's still such a big wake there. So the wake that's coming from the front of the capybara, it fanned out so much that standing off of the capybara's back, it's still quite um, slow. Which this means is if you were to ride a capybara, a lot of your body would be in a wake still, even though you're sitting on top. That's pretty cool. And now we have another Z plane, but it's going through the middle of the capybara and we're looking from the top. And the reason why I wanted to see this plane is because now we can see the three-dimensional list in three-dimensional flows in earnest. You can see that there's a lot of recirculation coming from the back and the front of the capybara, and that breaks up that von Kalman street that I was telling you about before. That's why it was much more chaotic than what you might expect otherwise. And again, you have to go very downstream for it to start breaking down to the point where you do see some periodicity to the flow. So that's the simulation. Make sure to like, subscribe. And if you know any other rodents that you'd like to see simulated, let us know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next simulation. Peace out, amigos.